y'all are the real ones thanks for listening Ooh, stay tuned after i didn't even say this at first i'm gonna put this clip in the beginning stay tuned to watch our commitment to excellence ceremony um commitment to excellence was basically like our version of like white coat um different schools do it differently we just got kind of like scrub jackets they're pretty cute um and we took like a commitment to nursing commitment to our patients and commitment to caring for them well so stay tuned for that that's super cute it was kind of fun we had an exam right after that was also fun hey guys it's Damian welcome back strollers it's nighttime here so it's pretty dark and I gotta go to sleep to wake up to class tomorrow but I just wanted to shoot this video for you guys and let you know how things have been going I've been MIA for two weeks and I'm back so, nursing school, yeah, it's different. It's different than undergrad. Um, I'll just highlight a couple things that have stood out to me in the past. I think it's been like five weeks now. Um, number one, if you're going straight from undergrad, it's definitely different not living on a campus. Um, it's definitely harder to connect with people. You have to be way more intentional. It's definitely hard being broke. <laughs> um, <laughs> Like, I was broke in college, but I didn't really have to spend more money outside of what I was paying for tuition. Whereas here, I have to pay for tuition, have to pay for gas, have to pay to, like, hang out with people because everyone wants to grab lunch, everyone wants to grab dinner. Um, and so it's, like, hard connecting with people other ways, especially if you don't really have the money to spend on just going places all the time. Another challenge is just the type of study that studying that comes along with nursing so I think that if you're more in like a humanities kind of social science major um it won't be that big of a shift but for me as like engineering like my homework for engineering was more like practical I was out here doing equations like solving problems um and that homework was basically helping me study Whereas here, I'm taking a lot of notes, and I have experience taking a lot of bio notes, but I guess I've never taken like four essential, you know, bio classes at a time. Um, so it's a lot of taking notes, and taking notes isn't studying. So you have to make time to study on your own and make sure they understand those concepts well enough to take an exam. As you may already know, nursing school exams are basically select all to apply so you really gotta know your stuff because you gotta know why the answer you're choosing is the best answer because they all could be right but which one's the best one yeah those two things have stuck out to me what else oh i can't do two hour classes like i've been doing great paying attention and everything but it's just exhausting sitting there for two hours and 30 minutes back to back um so definitely a downside otherwise things have been going good um it's just a shift it's not like super hard i think people always try to scare you and like be like oh this thing is super hard but once you realize that you make your own path and that if you're a christian you know god will help you through it all i didn't make it here by myself in the first place um so i'm not gonna make it through by myself anyways but yeah that's how I'm doing, you guys. I'm doing good. Overall, good. Overall, 8 out of 10 would recommend. I start clinicals next week. That should be interesting. I'll definitely keep you guys posted. There's not that much I can say on camera. And there's not that much I can film, of course. Patient privacy laws, but also the school has their own guidelines that you have to follow. So I'm not allowed to show a lot of things on social media. But I can always tell you guys with my words what's going on. And yeah, I have fall break also next week. Yes, I have fall break in a couple of days, so that should be exciting. Um, but yeah, six more weeks of first semester, then we're on to second semester. Second semester should be interesting. Again, everybody's like, oh, just wait till second semester, you're gonna be super stressed. I block them out because, hey, I'm gonna get there. When I get there, I'm gonna figure it out. It's not that big of a deal. Anyways, strollers. Y'all are the real ones. Thanks for listening. Y'all are the best. And yeah, stay tuned for more fun. See you later, strollers. Hey guys, so today we had our commitment to excellence ceremony. I'll insert some clips of that.
person's needs in a holistic way that is both individualized and compassionate. By committing to serving both the individual and the family, helping them attain and maintain optimal health and well-being, I will be accepting but we're just out here taking photos now. Bria, how do you feel about your commitment to excellence? I feel great. Um, is this camera running? Uh-huh. Do the people love me yet? Are there vlogs? What are they called? Strollers? Do the yes. strollers love me? Wait, these are the strollers? Yes. Yeah. If you want more content of me, just let her know. Oh, what is that? Make sure you like, subscribe, Put and tap the bell. Put it in the comments, Ryan. Ring the bell, ring the bell, tap the bell. Okay. This is foolishness. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to take a picture right now. We're going to take our eight legs tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. And we're going to pass. Definitely. 75 questions. Yes. If you're looking to fund anyone education, I would love a donation. <laughs> Why would they donate to you instead of me? It's content. Oh,